Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Real Life Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I know it's been a little minute since I did a collective read, but you know, here we are. Tried to give you guys some little space and time to clear your energy while we are direct in Mercury retrograde right now. Okay. Um, yeah, and <laughs> it's direct in Libra. Right? Libra is the ruler. Woo, the magician. Spirit is gossiping already with the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Spirit, I can't even get I can't even get my little intro out. Okay. Well, welcome to Real Love Tarot. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Spirit really has some things to say for you guys collective. As you can see, the cards just flipping out as I'm shuffling. So here we are. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your uh, support to the channel, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, donations. Everything means everything to me. Thank you, guys. First card out that flipped over because spirit wants to gossip is the magician. Yeah, and the knight of wands. Sagittarian energy fire is here. Aries energy as well. Who shall somebody is manifesting? you like crazy collective okay so there's a there's a knight of wands sagittarian energy but it could be any you know sign or whatever but that is the sign of sagittarius who wants to come in and manifest possibly in the beginning with you guys that's the energy that i feel but let's see because spirit is gossiping seven of wands and come they're defensive or they could be coming in wanting to defend something this connection possibly what is it, Spirit? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm. They're juggling, going back and forth in their head about this love connection. The lovers. Ooh, chow. Ooh, Gemini energy. There it is on the board. Someone's in love here. Yep, but they're facing judgment. Yeah. Mm. They could either be facing judgment or making a judgment call, but don't worry. I'm going to clarify the cards. Okay. But the energy that I'm feeling here is that they're facing judgment and they could be going through some type of karma for some of them. Or they're making a judgment, uh, a, uh, a sound judgment to come towards a life situation, possibly drop it. Death, yeah. Ego death, possibly. Yeah, maybe for a rebirth because something is ending or how they ended something with the lovers here. Give me more spirit. Oof. That's a lot. I'm going to put them back in there. It was a lot. Because spirit, look, okay, just drop them there. <laughs> King of pentacles. King of coins is here. Yeah, eight of coins. Yeah. So somebody is willing to put the hard work in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's see here. The magician, they're manifesting love connection. I read it sideways. Top, middle, bottom. Diagonal, however it goes on the board and how the story is unfolding to me intuitively, you guys. Okay, but the energy that I strongly feel is that someone is really wanting to come in and defend this connection. Going back and forth with their head, they could be very much in their head. They want to put an end to a situation, though. Yeah, oh, King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody who is very egotistical. Yikes, in the reverse. Yeah, you don't want to deal with the King of Swords in the reverse, okay? This is somebody who could have also been planning something really strategic, very, um, this could be, um, uh, past energy as well, um, past and present energy, and, and then, um, as I clarify, um, what the potential outcome in will be future, okay? So, this is someone who abused their power, okay? Somebody who used, uh, emotional, uh, manipulation in the past, okay? Right? And they're facing judgment for that, right? Falling right under the nine of wands, the second card out, following judgment, right underneath that king of swords in the reverse yeah so somebody has been judged basically um because of their abusive actions in the past yikes yeah now they want to come in and maybe have a rebirth with you yep they do six, six of swords yeah move to calmer waters after this uh after this betrayal because this definitely was a betrayal you know emotional manipulation is a betrayal whether people want to admit that or not shall they stress look ten, yeah ten of pentacles yeah so somebody they want to they want to move to the tent they want to come in and have a union with you right they they see you as um 
the end all be all, but they're stressed. They're in the nine of swords energy. I can't make it up. I mean, this person is having sleepless nights and, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they're stressed about, y'all, y'all know I'll be working. Why my mouse right here on the side, child? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> oh, cause I to be doing, all, I'll be working. I'll be having multiple devices here, multiple laptops to be a mess. <laughs> But anyways, I just saw that. Yeah, somebody could have... Oh, and a oh, mouse. That's a sign. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, listen. Three of swords just flipped over. Okay, this person is heartbroken. And this one fell out. But I'm going to say something about that mouse. Yeah, and four of wands. Yeah, over this twin flame. Twin flame connection is what I'm strongly feeling here. Yes. So you guys could be dealing with your twin flame. But this is definitely over this fine, uh, uh, family dynamic. This person sees you as like full abundance right they see you as marriage material and they're kind of concerned not kind of concerned they're very concerned and stressed out um in the knight of swords energy but let me go back to the mouth somebody was a rat <laughs> because you know a mouse is a rat right <laughs> Chat. did i turn it off yes it's a it's a wireless mouse but listen somebody could have been doing some could have been in rat behavior or they could have been ratted out by someone um in their energy as well okay unbeknownst to you you all that's watching give me one more off the top yeah nine of cups yeah so they feel blocked off from this nine of cups and off from this wish fulfillment is what it is this is why they're in the nine of swords over here okay can't make it up so we got the nine of swords to the three of swords okay Four of Wands to the Nine of Cups. So you guys are wish fulfillment, but what happened here is somebody um, just really overdid their manipulation in a situation, right? King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, this is not a very nice person. This is someone who uses emotional um, manipulation to get what they want to, um, you know, to uh, get people to see you in a different light or um or to you know or just to get their way overall it's falling under judgment right you guys could have had some type of court situation with this person or whatever or they're being judged by a judge at this time for some of you guys not all of you take it out resonates okay by doing something maybe in a court situation um this could be with the uh and, and i was going to say too with the king of pentacles being here for some of you guys this could have been the father of your children okay or just someone who's um you know, in their pinnacles as well, who have felt like they have financial power, okay? But there could be an ending to their financial power as well, which is making them having to work really, really hard with the eight of pinnacles. Take that how it resonates though. But they definitely want to come towards you and have this um this family dynamic uh with the ten of, of pinnacles. But for some of you guys, they're moving away, uh, they're moving uh, to Tacoma waters from a ten of pinnacles uh energy. Could be family situation, and the king of pinnacles could be representation of a father figure or some type of a hierarchy in the family um as well. They're putting an end to it. Um, because they want this love connection here. Or there could have been uh, some type of situation where there was family involved in um, a love connection with you all. Take it out, Resonates. I am getting multiple downloads. That's why I'm kind of speed talking here. I don't want to make this a long video for the collective, but these are the messages that are coming out, okay? So and I wanted to share them with you because it's so important. Plus, you know, you guys are long overdue for a collective read. It was in my energy to give it to you, these messages. I know you guys have been getting a lot of the same messages too, especially with someone wanting from your past wanting to come back to reconcile with you guys. That is the energy I feel is strong. For some of you guys, you have already went through of the beginning phases of reconciliation, but I don't feel like it's completely over. And what I mean by that is, and I'll explain that, is that your person could have came back, either you or them, to get art resonance, to, you know, um, to communicate, right? To get to some type of common ground in a, in a situation, um, possibly even um, bringing an apology. But what's missing in this connection is a uh, truth. 
right? There's missing pieces still to uh, the communication. Some of you guys are still waiting, which is why this person is in, is in the Two of Pentacles energy, right? Going back and forth in their head about this love connection, knowing that they're facing judgment for their past manipulation, um, you know, being abusive, abusing their power in this situation. And now they want to put it into that, right? And they want to come in with the seven of wands, can't make it up, possibly definitive connection or whatever, or they find themselves being um, defensive, right, about the choices that they've made with the two of pentacles here, because two of pentacles is choosing between two. So your person um, manifested some things that kind of got them in a little bit of hot water with the judgment card being here, and something came to an end, could be with this connection, this relationship or whatever, but now I feel like this person is, and they could have put, put in a lot of hard work or whatever to be the uh, king of swords in the reverse, right? Like really overdoing their manipulation, right? With the eight of pentacles being here. And after doing that, now they want to come in with the six of swords and have a new beginning with you um, and a family dynamic. So take this all how it resonates, okay, you guys? Give me the, um, I'm shaking the table because my thighs is thick. <laughs> Give it to me, spirit. What is it? Yeah, judgment. Woo wee. Yep, heeding the call. So somebody is. Yeah, definitely. Um, judgment is clarifying the magician. Okay, so somebody is making a judgment call to actually listen to them, their their inner selves when it comes to this love connection. Gemini energy could be dealing with the Gemini, or either you or your person, or both of you guys could have Gemini in your chart. Don't have to, but this is someone who definitely is in love with you. Lovers is in the upright, okay? Mm -hmm. So judgment is out here twice. So they could not only just be facing karma, but they could also be, you know, really making a judgment call or judgment is being brought down on a situation. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so this is in the reverse, right? Someone who lacked growth in this connection. Um, when it came to making decisions, you know what I'm saying? Making the right decisions. I feel like your person could have definitely chose wrong. And with the seven of cups being here, this is somebody who has lacked growth. Um, they lacked, um, 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 insight and foresight when it came to this connection and to you, uh, specifically you guys. And this is, um, why the energy is reading this way, right? And why judgment is here twice. Yeah. So somebody w basically went the wrong way. To sum it up, yeah, they went the wrong way, yeah. Yeah, six of wands, yeah, now they're looking for victory and success with the seven of clarifying the seven of wands. Yeah, so six clarifying the seven of wands, definitely fire here because, you know, wands represent fire. This is someone who um, wanted to win at all costs or whatever, and they still do uh, to a certain extent, but what's happening is they're wanting to um, win at all, all costs. It also costs them an ending as well. So, but this person wants to come in for a rebirth, okay? They want to come in for a rebirth and, and have it all again with you. Um, but they're, the decisions that they made in the past is kind of making them feel stuck is the energy that I feel, um, which is why they're in the Nine of Swords energy over here. Yeah. So don't forget about these cards. This is my side cards. I like to say the side cards, right? This is like what's going on behind the scenes that what we can't see, even though the moon card isn't here. Yeah. Nine of Cups is in the re Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse. Yeah. So now they're coming out of this Knight of Pentacles energy and Six of Swords is in the upright, right? Moving to Calmer Waters. So this is someone with the Knight of Pentacles being in the reverse, because you see he's upside down. So that's the reverse, right? The Knight of Pentacles um, being a reverse, okay? It's someone who definitely um, was very stubborn, okay? Um, very stubborn energy, didn't um, want to take accountability uh, for their actions, okay? Um, but at the same time, they don't want to be without you. And they do want to be, in, you, you know, move to calmer waters with you uh, in this, with the Six of Swords energy here. But this person is in this in, was in this energy, this Knight of Pentacles energy. They want to come out of that now, okay? They do. They want to come out of that. Because, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is really the slowest moving night on the board. But they want to come out of that energy and, you know, and they're making the decision to do that. What's the leverage? Drop them. Yep. Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to this love connection for sure. It's It fell out in the upright. Look. Yes. This is, yeah, this person wants stability with you. They see you as, you know, 
somebody that they could build a life with at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And three and sword, three of swords in the reverse, which is a good place to be clarifying judgment. Yeah. So they are making a judgment call to come heal this um, with you. So if you guys were in the energy of feeling like your person um, was this like down there communicating for some of y'all, because not all of you guys are in communication, but a lot of you guys who are, it's just like you feel like, damn, okay, well, they're communicating or whatever, but they're still moving slow. It's a reason. I'm going to tell you, this person who you're dealing with and the, with the energy that's reading on the board here is one, they're very stubborn. And this, for them to have even commute, for those who are, who have had communication with you, um, or you, them, take it out, resonates, this is collective read. This is um, them to even move towards you to admit a wrong if that has happened or to communicate with you um, really moved outside of their ego, which for them is a big step forward. Because you and the reason why I say it's a big step forward is because they acted out in the King of Swords in the reverse. So the King of Swords in reverse is very, um, not only are they stubborn, okay? But this person is very manipulative and they, um, this is somebody in the upright, the King of Swords is very strategic, very intellectual and very, um, intentional planner. And this is what this person did was, but they did it in the reverse, meaning that they didn't do it in a positive way. They were very negative and, um, very, uh, low vibrational in the way that they move toxic energy, if you will. Right. And um, that was the energy that this person was in. Now they're facing judgment for those actions that they've taken. And it's kind of eating at them, eating away at them, which is why they're now in the Knight of Swords energy. So even though they may have communicated with you and everything like that, don't ever, and, and it could be stagnant or slow communication or whatever. They're, com they're slowly coming around because what it is, this person is also facing um, themselves. Possibly, definitely going through an ego death, right? Definitely going through an ego death, right? Scorpionic energy could be dealing with a Scorpio, don't have to be. But this is someone who could be going through the deep, dark shadows of the soul. So even though that they came forward, they could have apologized for some of you guys, most of you guys, okay? It doesn't take away the anxiety and fear that they feel moving forward and the heartbreak that they cause in the Nine of Swords because they they are feeling the repercussions strongly. The judgment card came out twice. Okay, can't make that up. Because they sat they really sabotaged a four wands connection, which is really their wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. I can't make it up. It's so they sabotage someone that they really love, which is you collective, right? You, them, them, you take it out, resonates, you know where your story is, right? Yeah, give me death. What's the death card here? And the death is also telling me too um that they they could possibly want to not they do they do not possibly they want a reconciliation with you with the death card because death also for something to end is something new to begin so a rebirth if you will two of pentacles yeah so they're making a decision you know what I'm saying um to um or a decision is needing to be made about ending you know killing this ego. So that they can move forward with you in the King of Pent Pentacles status. Could be dealing with a um, uh, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Yeah, take it out, resonate. Give it to me, spirit. It's the King of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, clarifying the King of Pentacles. Look at that. And he's in an upright. Yeah. So, yeah, this is them literally fighting themselves. Yeah, so this is the second king, this king of pentacles fighting themselves at this point, yeah, about, and, and really going deep within, um, you know what I'm saying, about the decisions that they've made that cause this ending, mm-hmm. This is something really hard for this person, and not, I'm not trying to say that you should feel so sorry for them, no, but now this person is wanting to come in as a very, a supportive leader, someone who will take care of you. Someone who will, um, you know, really give to the connection and actually invest in the way that it sh they should have in the first place, right? Yeah, what's the Eight of Pentacles? Give me the Eight of Pentacles spirit for the collective. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Wow. So they're definitely working hard on getting this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, yeah, with you guys to invest and possibly bring you in something tangible. Yeah. For some of you guys, um, 
this will, some of you guys, this will bring you a, a world of abundance because this is also following another lovers, um, right? They're, whatever it is that they did to you guys, they're definitely wanting to come in in the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles energy. King of Coins is Pentacles, y'all should know that. <laughs> but, and it's clarifying itself. So this person is gone within themselves. They're really at this time too leveling up. Um, so that they can come in and give you something that you deserve, which is this love offer. They're holding on to you for pinnacles and they're going to offer you stability is what I feel, I feel, but they also want that or feel that with you. They could, they could see you in, um, you know, in a, in a light of someone that they could grow and build with. Yeah. Six of swords. Uh, I'm not sorry. King of swords in the reverse. What is this spirit? This is, wow, Spirit got a lot to say. Eight of Wands, fast communication. Yeah, yeah. Oh, child, child. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, which way? Oh, yeah, here they are. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, fast communication coming in. Sorry, I don't know which way. I'm going to read it in an upright. Yeah, yeah. And Justice. Yeah, Justice, Libra Energy. Yeah. So you guys are going to be getting um fast communication um, really fast communication about something being turned over in your favor, justice, right? Something, a judgment could have been called down on this person for sure with the justice card being here as well. Um, this person in the past, um, didn't serve you right, right? But this is also to someone coming in, um, with the truth or someone is coming in to right their wrongs and you're going to get communication about that if you haven't already. But, um, for some of you guys, this communication that's coming in, I feel like it's fresh. It's new. Um, even if you have com had communication with this person in the past, they just been slow to move as well, but they're coming out of that energy. Um, believe it or not. Yeah. Six of swords. Give it to me, spirit. Give me. Okay. Thank you. Two of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody. So you guys, they even though they and let me tell you why it's in the reverse, because they could feel you pulling away from them as, as well. And this is why they want to come in towards you in the Six of Swords energy. Right. Because um, this is somebody, this is somebody you guys could have had an unhealthy attachment with as well, or they could be moving away from an unhealthy attachment. Take it out, resonates. So if, you know, for some of you guys, whatever the energies was that was around them, whether they were in another um, messed up soul tie connection or just dealing with messy third parties or whatever, it was unhealthy. And this is why this person is coming in uh, to move to calmer waters, right? Towards their ten of, ten of pentacles, right? Yeah. And it could have been from this from this family for some of you guys. Um, you know, take it how it resonates. Okay, what is it? Yeah, nine of pentacles. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Nine of pentacles. Yes, yeah, so somebody is really wanting to, um, you know, you're going to reap the rewards. I'll say it like that. And for some of you guys, you you are, this person is going to, um, two of cups is here regardless, um, whether it's in the upright or the reverse, okay? But the two of cups, um, period, as this is, this is someone who really loves you, okay? Yeah, this, and this is also too, that someone could have been, uh, could have broken up from, like I said, they could have been in another toxic connection or whatever, and they're leaving that unhealthy uh, connection to go towards their nine of pentacles, their ten of, uh, ten of pentacles, yeah, which is complete wish fulfillment, you know, I mean, you got the nine to the ten, you see what I'm saying? This is something, and, and, and this is also to spirit rewarding you guys for um, your tool and labor in a situation, okay? Uh, maybe the way you've handled the situation, um, how you've, you know, stayed in your power as well. And for some of you guys, you guys are going to level up as well um, in the King of Pentacles energy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, you're going to level up yourselves. And this will be your karmic justice because justice did fall out in the upright. Libra Taurus energy, um, Libra energy with the justice card, but you guys could be a Taurus. You could be any sign. doesn't matter. This is a collective read. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me the two of cups. Give me okay, what is it? 
Yeah, Knight of Wands again in the upright. Yep. So this person wants to come in hot and passionate towards you. Yeah, they do. They love you, right? We know knights are flighty, but you know, in this energy, this person is, I'm feeling the more of the energy of this person being very passionate when it comes to you. Okay. Yeah. Very passionate um, of whatever. We have the seven of wands here. Okay. And again, um, we got that twice on the board. So two, 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 uh, we already got two, you know, we got the, uh, the knight of wands here twice, the six of wands here twice. Okay. As, um, well, um, I'm sorry, not the six of swords. No, 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 no. Not the six. The seven of wands here twice. Lord, thank you. <laughs> seven of wands here twice. Okay. And then we also have the four of, um, well, we got the four of pentacles and the four of wands. So that's not the same. But, um, oh, we got the two of pentacles here um, twice. Okay. So the two of coins here and the two of coins here. So two, two, two. So this is for you. So that's a sign of when I see cards come out, clarifying cards and come out twice and a different card to in twos, that's two, two, two. So that's a new beginning for you guys. And it's going to be um, one that you guys are, you know, going to be surprised by. Um, but this is if you want it or not. Okay. This is definitely, I'm not going to do these just yet. I kind of want to know um, what this person's hidden truth is when it comes to this connection. Um, I know one of the hidden truths is, is that they weren't being honest about their feelings clearly, which is why they use emotional manipulation, but I feel like it backfired. Yeah. Yeah. I knew exactly what I was doing. There's, there's a clarifying right there. Yep. They did. Yep. I'm going to shuffle these here though. Yeah. That was on the bottom. Yeah, they did. They knew exactly what they were doing. That's what emotional manipulation is. Somebody who's very strategic at you know getting what they want and if they have to use emotional manipulation or any type of manipulation to do that that's what they'll do but they are very they know what they're doing that's how they're doing it you know what i'm saying so this person is i feel like is in regret behind that yeah give me more for um this i'm so attracted to you Aww. This is why. This is one of the reasons why this person was in this energy with you. They were always attracted to you, but they didn't know how to communicate that or whatever. So they acted out impulsively for some of them. Check it out. Resonates. Yeah. Drop it. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, absolutely. They did not treat you right. They were the king of swords in the reverse. Yeah, that's not treating you right. That's, you know doing spell work and all kind of crazy stuff to get their way. Yeah. I have be I am becoming a better person. Didn't I say that this person was in the Knight of Pentacles and um sort of move towards you guys, even if you guys have been in communication. So you know what I'm saying? It's because they're trying to they're going through the deep dark shadow of this uh with a death card here. Okay. This person they may have you may feel ghosted by them, but don't this is, um, especially if you're dealing with Sagittarius, they're known for ghosting. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it a buck. They're known for ghosting, but don't take that personally. And I'm going to tell you why. This person is really going deep within, right? Because I'm becoming a better person. So they don't like the person that they have become um, when being in that energy, which is why you have the Eight of Wands here and the Justice card. Right? So you guys are going to get karmic justice and they're going to bring that in as well. The universe has already played it out for you guys. But this person is in such deep regret and heartbreak that they sabotage this with you because they were in this emotional manipulation energy, manipulative energy, right? And they're realizing that that was not the way to go. Okay. So what they're doing now behind the scenes, unbeknownst to you, is they're working on themselves with the Eight of Pentacles here, Ace of Pentacles. So they're working on themselves and they're working very hard behind the scenes so that they can bring in a new passion the beginning and invest in, in this connection to you and be this better person, right? That they that they know you need them to be. Thank you. Ooh, that's why the Knight of Wands is on here twice. Don't play with me. I want you. This, this person is hot and heavy for you. That's the other thing. This this is also part of what you guys don't see coming or don't. For some of you guys, 
you feel like this person was just like, they hate me. They did all these mean things to me. They treated me like this. They tried to sabotage me. They had me hand up in court on, on some trumped up charges, da 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 or whatever. And all this was because they couldn't deal with their own uh, emotional, you know, uh, immature, uh, maturity. They were emotionally immature. So all because they wanted you. They knew what they were doing, right? But fear was a big player in this. Off the top, I want to be more than friends. Come on, spirit. I didn't shuffle these cards in front of y'all. Listen. Yeah. They want to be more than friends with you. And this is why they're up all night in their head. They're not getting any sleep. They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken about the decisions that they've made. They're ashamed of, this, of the decisions that they made with the two of pentacles coming out here twice. You get what I'm saying? And now they know that they have to fix it. And for some of you guys, it's going to be really difficult for them to do because the the games that they played, the emotional abuse that they put you through the, at the time, it was just fun and games to them. You know what I'm saying? This is like, they were in the energy. I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to get what I want to get at any cost. I'm going to win by any means necessary. But what's happening is now because of those decisions that they've made, they're facing judgment. And that's difficult for them. Yeah, I am not available. No, they're not available. They're not available to you and they're not communicating to you or they're half-assed communicating to you. It's because they're going through it behind the scenes. You don't see this, right? And they don't want you to see it. They're going to make it like it's something completely different when in reality, they're going through the nine of swords. They're in the nine of swords energy. We both know I am not the one for you. That's how they feel. But for some of y'all, and that could be true. For some of y'all, that could be true, but the but the the situation with this is it's true love. I promise you, I'm the timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, at that time it wasn't. No, off the top, I love you unconditionally. Yeah, and this could be um how you feel about them, but they definitely feel this about you, child. Let me drink my water. Ooh, oh. I told you this person was in love with you. You guys got the lovers card here. It's right here. Oh, with the four of pentacles right on top of this person is holding on to you like they like depending on it whether you know it or not it's true and um uh, one more off the top yeah oh and i wasn't even gonna do it but spirit said take one more off the top i love you oh, oh y'all it's killing me yeah they do they love you but they were just they were just immature, you guys. You know what I'm saying? They acted very immature towards this connection. Yeah, they they just, you know, for some of you guys, in a night too, that's somebody. I always look at nights too, even though they could be very passionate and hot for you or whatever. But this person could be very young in age as well. Um, past, maybe then, they may have grown, did some growing since then or whatever. What's the romance oracle have to say? about this connection as well because you know i'm super nosy yeah finances is and for career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now yeah so didn't i say too that's why the eight of pentacles came out right here to the ace of pentacles listen ace of pentacles clarifying the eight of pentacles so this person is behind the scenes working hard as well because they want to hold on to you and they want something stable with you but they also want to give you something stable so this is why they're unavailable as well they're not available because they're focused on their money right now don't but don't ever think they're not focused on you you are you're you're the prize you guys are the main focus and this is what and because they are tone, honed in and focused in on you it's why they're working so hard behind the scenes um, but on to you because when they come in, they want to, they don't want to come in empty headed and they know they got to come with it. Yeah. Cause they want to give you a wedding. Don't play with me. Yeah. The situation involves marriage for some of you guys. This could be an ex that wants to come back or, but I don't feel like it's that. This is someone, this could be an ex friend, lover, whatever. Right. But this is someone who wants to propose marriage, which is why finances and career is a factor. So they're working hard behind the scenes. You guys don't see this coming, but they want to propose to you. That's part of the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Keep an open mind when it comes to this connection. Yeah. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah. So if you guys are wondering if this is your soulmate, absolutely it is. Right. And you're like, it can't be because why would they be so dumb, child? We was all young and dumb at one point. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to give this person a pass. But, I'm, you know, mindsets are mindsets. And this is, yeah. 
This is what makes us grow. You know, the mistakes. Now, this person is going through judgment, definitely going through karma, but this person is so passionate about you. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Because it's. It, I told you, that's what the Knight of Wands is. Sagittarian energy, baby. They coming in hot. They coming in hot. And I feel like this is going to be one of those love stories of a lifetime. For you guys who do want this connection, check it out. It resonates. Yeah. Give me more for the collective. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button as you watch this video so it can circulate out to other people who need to hear the message. Playfulness to re recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah. Youthful spirit. Yeah. So I feel, I'm telling you, this person could be younger than you. This is a thing. You know, this is like, this is the energy of someone going through over and beyond, right? Not knowing how to control their emotions or handle their emotions or their love for you. So attracted. This person was so attracted to you, right? I'm so attracted to you, right? And they want, a, they, they want, um, they love you, right? And they feel like you are unattainable, right? This is why they're saying, too, we know I'm not the one for you. Because for some of you guys, this is a younger person. Divine, feminine, or masculine, right? This person, they feel like, you know, there it's multiple factors, right? One, they feel like they're not the one for you because of the damage that they've caused from the past, right? But reconciliation is on the board. The three of, because uh, you did have the three of swords falling in the reverse, okay? And this is someone that also wants to, you know, um, heal the connection, period. But this person felt was in this energy in the first place because they felt that you were unattainable. And for some of you guys, they weren't ready, right? Yeah. But no matter what, they love you unconditionally. Yeah. Calling in your soulmate. Yes. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah. So this person is definitely calling you in for sure. This is why you have the magician first card out. That's them calling you in. Yeah. Yeah, but they're also think, facing judgments. Child spirit could have stepped in and, and been dealing with this person behind the scenes. Yeah, but somebody's saying, but spirit is saying you need to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, so whatever it is, an ex can be, any, can be anything. It could be ex-boyfriend, ex-toxic behaviors. You know what I'm saying? Old ways of thinking, anything that was in the past, which is exed out of your life, you need to release that, okay? Yeah, okay, too. Okay, pay attention to the red flags and trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and the signs are cautioning you, okay? This is also for you guys as well. And the reason why I say that is that, it, okay, because it's so funny how these two cards came out together, trust, and then pay attention to the, to the red flags. This is why you guys need to release anything from your past, right? Which is your ex, right? It could be your ex-boyfriend, ex boyfriend ex girlfriend, lover, um, side, side chick, whatever. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Toxic behaviors. You need to release that and you need to trust, right? And because these are all red flags. If you're still holding on to these things, it's going to cause red flags throughout the connection for you and your person. So this is what you both need to do. Okay. So let me just pull these cards up and push. Well, let me just push it to the side. We'll get to all that later, child, the stress of it all. It's late. Okay, and let's see what the potential outcome is here. What would Mystic Beauty say? <laughs> These are her cards, you guys. Mystic Beauty's uh, Easy Tarot. I need to get her newest deck, but I love this. I love this. Deck, so, yeah. What's the message? What's the potential outcome for the collective? Someone raising Venus North? No. This is the potential outcome when it comes to this connection. Two more shuffles. Sorry if it's loud, you guys. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> what is it, spirit? What's the potential outcome for my babies? What is it? Ooh. 
okay, okay, four of cups. Yeah, they're going to come in to make an offer, just like I said. This person is holding on to you, and that's just that on that. Because they're just, and you guys could be discontent, you know, with the offer because of how everything went down in the past, but then that means you still got healing to do, right? Doesn't mean you have to accept the offer or whatever. Just use your discernment. Okay, use your discernment. Page of Wands. Yeah. Look, more fire. Yeah, young fire sign could be coming towards you, right? With this um with this um a passionate new message uh, for a new beginning of some sort, but you guys are gonna uh but the, you're gonna get a news of an offer. Four of cups is someone making an offer, right? Okay. Hold on. These were not in the all in the upright and too many fell out. Hold on. Let me see. Let me just double check these real fast, y'all. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, like this is not in the upright. Oh, that was a devil card, too. Let me make sure. Because I like to, you know, make sure that they fall out fairly as much as possible. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go again. One more shuffle. Yeah, but you're definitely about to get this news of an offer. Some of you guys is going to be, you know, to have a new beginning, maybe a passionate one. For some of you guys, it's going to be, you know, an apology. And for some of you guys, it's going to be um, a message of uh, how they feel. Check it out. Resonates. Yeah. Because I feel this person is very emotional. Yeah. World card. Yeah. So some of you guys, it's going to be uh, that. You guys are going to get a message that this, well, basically the cycle has completed for a lot of you guys. Yeah. Two of cups. There it is. Yeah. So you guys are ending out old cycles to, to, to go towards your two of cups. Somebody is, or somebody's going to tell you that they ended out something with someone else to bring in and they want this two of cups with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, look, attraction, loving union. This is the message, yep. So you guys are going to get a new passionate beginning in love. For a lot of you guys, this is the offer that's coming towards you. Yep, ooh, I'm here for it. Yes, this person is a scared shitless though. That's the energy that I feel. They feel like they're not going to get this yet, which fulfillment. But for the majority, they are nine of cups. Yeah. So if you guys have if you guys have already reconciled and you know you're already on the same page and everything and all of that, you guys are gonna be together. It's just if you guys both want it, you both you both want, you know, if as long as both parties is putting in the effort, it can work. You know what I'm saying? And it's being honest. Yep, ten of cups. Don't play with me. What I just say? What I just say? Completion, good fortune. Yeah, moving forward, Ten of Cups, that's your full abundance. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, baby. Two of Cups, lovers, come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. What is it? Yep, Nine of Pentacles flipped over. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so somebody is wanting to move um, definitely uh, to equal playing fields here, right? And somebody is willing to... Uh, coming and balance out the scales with the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm hmm. Somebody sees security with you, Queen of Cups. Yeah. You guys could be embodying the Queen of Cups energy or have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. In your chart, anywhere in your chart, take it out, resonate. Someone rising Venus, North Node, Mars, Jupiter, don't matter. Lilith. <laughs> yeah. Nine of Swords, and they are stressed out. And the reason why they're stressed out, too, here, I'm just pulling them right. Give me more messages, Spirit. Um, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, they're stressed out. They're working crazy or whatever. They're trying to make sure everything is right and on point or whatever. So they're stressed out because they don't want this to fail. They don't want, when they come in to bring you this offer, they don't want you to reject them, and they don't want to fail at this and meaning that they don't want to make the same mistakes twice because the the heartache pain and pain that it caused in the past they they just don't want to relive that again and i know for a fact that neither do you guys okay and the reason why i'm saying um and i feel the energy that most of you all of you most of all of you guys want this is because you're sitting here in this reading this whole time you do want this person you're just trying to figure out what's coming towards you, how to prepare or whatever. So this is the message I'm giving you is what you need to prepare for what's coming towards you because this is inevitable, right? It's all in divine timing. So you guys, some of you guys will be like, they're taking too long. We're talking and now they're not talking and 
It's because this person is literally trying to figure it out. They're also trying to build the courage or whatever to come towards you guys to have this. Yeah. Bam. Woo. To get their baby. The Empress. Libra Taurus energy. You could be either one of those signs or any sign that embodies the Empress energy or have Taurus or Libra in your chart. Baby, you the prize. And that's just that on that. Period. Off the top. Make it drop. Yep. They make it a judgment call. <laughs> Make it a judgment call, yep, because they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. Five of Pentacles, yep, ooh, to Six of Wands, victory and success. Yeah, that's what I told you there, and that's what the second, third time it came out, or second time there, two, two, two. That's what I'm saying. This is the new beginning. You guys will have victory and success as long as you guys both want it and you're willing to put the work in. This is potential outcome for you guys, babies. Okay, right? Let me get you some little behind the scenes messages about what's been going on in this connection oh look now this rubber band is on here all right these are pre-shuffle your wishes are coming to fruition don't play with auntie nay when i tell you i know what the energy is yeah it's like this because you're a healer you're a healer air signs libra gemini aquarius Right, Empress on the board. Yeah, because you've been you took back your power, and this is what's making you more attractive to this person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what's making you guys more attractive to this person. You took back your power. You didn't fight them. You didn't try to go back after them. You didn't try to get no kickback, lick backs, nothing, nothing back. You just said, you know what? If this is wait, hold on, because I want these to be out for themselves. Let me just slide these on out. You guys rewind the video if you want to see these cards again. Okay. All right, but this is what's coming towards you, babies. Yeah, I just want to get the backstory because, you know, I haven't been pulling these cards too much um, lately or whatever. Um, because, you know, oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to get them in a minute. Just all them cards fail. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Let's give me more messages. So you're taking back your power for sure. Air, Libra, your wishes are coming to fruition. Period. That okay, I'm OCD, so it's driving me crazy that these are on the floor. Sorry. <laughs> Auntie couldn't take it. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, babies. Oh, we, oh, we. Ah. Okay, it's weird. Okay, yeah, I don't like when things fall and messy spills and all of that. It drives me bananas. I'm like, you don't see that? Clean it up. No. <laughs> What is it yet? But you guys are a healer. Oh, love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Ooh. This person, I listen, they said they love you. They lusting over you. They want you. All of that. Yeah, devil energy. They lusting over you. And then this devil energy, very obsessive and lustful thoughts over you. This person wants to make love to you so bad. This person is for real, for real in love with you, though. Right? But I feel like um, for some of you guys, this person's energy, especially with the Knight of Wands coming out as much as it did, very strong Sagittarian energy, um, right? That both came out in the upright. This person um, expresses their love through sex for some of y'all, right? This is why this devil energy and obsessive lustful thoughts is here, right? This person like really wants to come in and passion came out um, as well. This person has strong, passionate feelings. So you look how he like hovering over her. This is how your person want to hold you. I'm just saying <laughs> with his little angel wings. Look, that's that's Michael. That's Archangel, my Archangel Angel Michael, Temperance Angel baby, honey. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, the world is here. Someone's in was in it. Someone's in it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, so somebody could have been, uh, and that could be third party energy as well, because these intuitive cards will pull out their third party messages. So you guys, you know, take it out resonate. Yeah, but somebody could have initially been in the connection for the wrong reasons. But what happened was, um, the. Um, this could have been for third party for them or when you guys was in connection with this person, they were in connection with you for the wrong reasons. But what happened was I felt like they gained real love for you, right? And it, and it kind of, you know, the tables turned, yeah. Ooh, but I tell y'all, mm, mm, mm. they are definitely taking a leap of faith forward towards you. 
Yeah, Six of Wands came out twice. Don't play with me. Yeah, that's one of the common waters. Yeah, I'm fulfilling relationships and emotional sexual encounters. Yeah. So it's this person got out in the real world and got with people who didn't really give a fuck about them, didn't care about them, didn't care about their age, if they slept good, how their day was going, how it was work. Did you do you want me to make you a sandwich? Like nothing. Like <laughs> this per this person was dealing with really unfulfilling relationships. You know what I'm saying? And and outside of all of these sexual account uh, um emotionless and sexual encounters after the sex it was nothing this person still felt empty inside because these people didn't have anything else to offer them but you guys gave them healing love right true love healing love and this person felt at home with you damn come on the truth Woo! sitting in my hand truth card 11 11 it's the truth you did you you gave this person a love that they had never experienced in their life and for some of them they ain't even experienced it from their own mama let alone out here in these you know messed up connections with unfulfilling relationships i mean really i can't make it up flip right on out water they're very emotional over you pisces cancer scorpio you could be dealing with any of these signs biggest signs or have it in your chart but this is a divine partnership like i said it is all right oh child i gotta drink my little water oh this person love you. Don't be fooled. They play dirty tricks and games to one up you. I don't know. I need to scratch that out. It drives me crazy. Cause why did Raptor come in there and why I didn't see that? It's driving me crazy. Okay, y'all saw it with your own eyes. I scratched it out. Yeah, to one up you. Yeah. And yeah, that was that that was that emotional manipulation, that King of Swords in the reverse. And it backfired. Mm -hmm. Hard lessons are being learned at this time, which is why this person is silent. So you guys could be in your feelings and be like, damn, they're not talking to me now. What did I say? Did I say something wrong? No, you actually said all the right things, but it really put what you said hit home to this person. And that's why they're silent right now. Give them some space and time. They'll be okay. Everything is going to be okay, you know. I promise you, if I think you're saying it, is I feeling it? Because y'all know these cards be coming out and I be, it be saying exactly what I be feeling. And I, I can't control the cards. You see what I'm saying? And when I say this person is coming towards you, they are. And look what fell out. Taking a leap of faith towards you. They're scared. It's kind of tricky. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I feel like you guys are beyond that point. And, and um, energetically, they could feel that it's safe. They, because you're a healer. They know that you, energetically, I feel like they've always known that you were never one to really hurt them because you've always given them loving, you know, healing support. Always, even in the worst of times. So this is why this person is coming to you. It's actually safe to love um, here. It's just this person has to come out of their mind, especially if they're there, if they're having negative thought, you know, thoughts and things like that. It did just come out of that energy, but this is with them. That's why they're in the nine of swords energy. That's why the nine of swords is here, right? It's it's their um it's it's their own mental conflict within themselves, okay? And it really don't have anything to do with you to in that regard. I mean, it does, but you don't control their thoughts, right? You stay on their mind, but you don't control their thoughts. That's that's for them to to control, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it says inner self-work is needed. What I just said, don't play with me. Didn't I? <laughs> I said they're in their own thoughts. That this is their own. They need to control that. Inner self-work is needed. Exactly. That's not for you to control. They need to do that within themselves. That's why it's called inner self. Yeah. Come on, spirit. I know that's right. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ace of swords. Truth and clarity. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. And you guys are about to get this truth and clarity too. Coming in to balance peace and harmony. That's why the six of pentacles fell out. Yeah, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna bring in um they're gonna they're gonna heal it. They're gonna make everything balanced and fair, right? Justice card came out, judge me twice. For some of you guys, it's with the law. Everything, you know, something is gonna work in your favor. I don't feel like even if you have a poor situation with them, I don't feel like it's gonna turn out negatively or whatever. I feel like it's a step forward for you guys to heal. Yeah, your financial situation is being restored, and it is period. Yeah, 
you guys have the king of pentacles clarifying the king of pentacles on top of yeah that's also your energy that's your part of your rewards yeah what's it say emotionally manipulative and controlling that's what they were in the past that's why the king of swords was in the reverse right yeah and the world you guys are clearing out this old cycle so any old behaviors toxic behaviors negative energies people that was in this toxic or negative energy you guys is it's all ending judgment has been called to rain down on everybody baby all that shit is coming to an end what else spirit for the collective before i let y'all go yeah your new lover will be your forever love it could be this person you guys for some of you guys you could be going into a new cycle too with someone new that's a very, very small few of you but for the majority of you guys your new lover because this person is coming back new because they're working on themselves right it's gonna be your forever love that's gonna be that's your baby that's your motherfucking baby. Get them right, spirit. Get them right. That's all I say. Projecting their bullshit on you. And the past was what's caught them, got them caught up in this energy now. See, so this is why I say you guys got to be patient. For some of you, I know it's just like, damn, they just take it forever. I don't want to hold on. You don't have to, you don't have to hold on away from them. Go date. Go do something. Go, go start a business. I don't know. Go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go live your life. Because, but don't think that this person is going to take that much time. Mm -mm, they're coming, because remember the King of Pentacles fell out in the reverse, which means they're coming out of that slow energy and they're moving towards you. And it just said they coming in, right? So they're coming in sooner than later. It's just that, you know, it's this person really got to get their emotions together too. Because remember, you're dealing with someone who is emotionally immature in the past. And that's why they use emotional manipulation, Right? You know what I'm saying? Because this is this is what they knew to get what they want. But it didn't, you know, are they, you know, over manipulated their power again, emotional manipulation. They knew that that would hurt you. But it backfired, it backfired on them. Right? Yeah, create more opportunities for yourself. But I just say, go start a business, go do something. Why you said thank you, spirit. Damn, you be just confirming. Yeah, so don't sit up here and be tripping off of why this person ain't called you, text you back, or whatever. They're working on themselves. Leave them alone or whatever. They saw your last text and they saw your last phone call that you did. Stop calling them a hundred times. They they got the very first message in voicemail. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What does it say? Yeah, they're obsessed with your loving energy and can't escape you mentally haunted. This is another reason why they've been taking a long time. You, like I said, for some of you guys, you could have been in communication with them, but they still... They're still trying to control this and they, they want to come to you in the right way. So even though they have this energy towards you, they want to come in balance as well, right? For some of them, it's going to take them a minute. Damn, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Depressed and stressed out. Yeah, nine of swords energy. They're depressed and stressed out. They're not, they don't want to show you this. They don't. They don't want to show you this energy. They don't they don't want you to know that the real reason why they're not communicating with you is because they're really depressed. And so even though they love hearing your voice and your words and your kind heart and healing, you know, energy, they it, it makes them a little bit more depressed because then they go back deeper into their thoughts of what happened in the past. So this person is still like kind of punishing themselves, which is part of their karma you know, for how they acted. What this person needs to do is forgive themselves because you can't change the past. Take it as a learning lesson. Learn from it. Don't do it again. Especially to somebody that you love. You, If you love someone, you know, this is just a lesson for them. It's just like, you don't, don't be so fearful. This person did all of this is in all of this energy, all due to their own inner conflict and fear. But they don't, they're not going to tell you this. And if they do, you will want them to when they come back and when you guys do communicate again or have a sit down and face to face or whatever. But my suggestion to you is if you want them to communicate with you in the best way, hold them. Hold them. Hold them so that they can feel your loving energy vibrate skin to skin. Let me tell you something. That skin to skin is powerful, especially when it's genuine love. Hold them. Hold them so close to you. Caress them. Kiss them. Right? Make them feel your energy. And they'll release. And they'll come out of this depression and being stressed out. Create a safe space for them. You guys know what to do. 
God, God didn't bring you this far for you for y'all to fail now, right? That's my motto. Moving forward, we gotta lay down. Cause when you're laying down and you're holding someone, and I say, baby, what's wrong? What tell me, tell, tell me what's wrong. Or whatever. And you hold their hand. You know, because you guys are the whole point is you're a team, not against you. It's it's kind of hard to be in a negative energy when you're in a loving setting, right? You got to mean that from your heart and your gut, though. Anything less is just, just no, right? So, you know, and I know some of y'all is pissed off and yeah, 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 and da, 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 and, you know, F them, but you got healing to do. Because at this point, it ain't th this why y'all in this energy too, right? You know? So this is, could be for, a message for some of y'all who don't know how to forgive. Yeah, someone's in it for the wrong reason. Oh, I think I pulled that already. Did that print twice? Yeah, soulmate love. Did I say they're soulmate? Even the romance angels. Yeah. Oracle deck said it. That's your soulmate. Twin flame for some of y'all. A lot of y'all. Yeah. Yep, the regret and shame is unbearable for them. What did I tell y'all? That's why they're in this energy. That's why they're not calling or whatever. This person is so, that they are depressed, right? They are depressed and stressed out because the regret and shame is unbearable for them. This is hard for them. They, they don't even, it's so hard for them to face you face to face. You understand what I'm saying? You know, but at the this is true love though. This is real love. This is real love. You know, but the, and this person knows this. Yeah, bored. It's for some of y'all. You're gonna be bored with the offer because you're gonna think it's too small. But let me tell you something about this offer that you're about to be bored with. They're coming in small because for them it's baby steps, and they're and they're and they're bored. You're bored with the offer because you're like, no, you should be coming in with the full shebang. But your person wants to start over. Like you guys need to heal and start over. So to the small offer could be for some of y'all, it, it's gonna be friendship. You know what I'm saying? Loving friendship, of you know, intimate friendship for some of you guys, but still friendship. But it's going to grow into what it's supposed to be naturally, right? It's already there. So you ain't gonna have to do that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to be friend zone, friend zone. It's not like that. What I'm saying is this small offer is this person is just really wanting to take it slow or whatever because they know they betrayed you. The shame of the, the hurt that was caused from the pain by their actions. They feel real bad about that, you know? Ace of Cups. Yeah. Then I took this person is so in love with you. you a lot of y'all is in love with them so y'all just be able on this channel faking. I can't. Thinking about their next move. That's why they silent. Yeah. You guys are dealing with someone who is a logical thinker. So they're going to, you know, and if for some of you could say, well, that's still manipulation. No, what they're thinking about is not how, how not to move, how they moved in the past. Because in the past, they did move wrong because it was all off of manipulation. But they're trying to, it's just the, it's just the way that they're processing on how to come at this in the best way so that you guys could have the best possible outcome so you can have a stable, loving connection. So this is why this person is thinking about their next move in that way, right? Yeah, honest yeah, honest communication. So they're, they're thinking about their next move, right? Which is honest communication. Because as long as they're honest, whether they realize it or not, that's what's going to save the connection. First time they start lying and doing all that goofy shit, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Because the honest communication about how they truly feel, which is, you know, I want you, I love you, I want to be with you. This or I wish I treated you better. They want this is honest communication. That honest communication is them admitting to you face to face, I'm so attracted to you, right? And that I want you. That's the honest communication, right? Yeah, I knew what I was doing, baby. And I did it because I was hurt. And, you know, because I did want you. I didn't know how to get you or whatever. All of that, them speaking their truth from their heart or whatever, that's going to bring y'all forward. Anything else goofy is just going to, you're just going to be like bored with this community, bored with this offer. Yeah. Because as soon as they start doing all that goofiness, you're going to be like, okay, well, thank you for coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, then. <laughs> yeah, focus on forgiveness. Thank you, Spirit. Tell the collective. Yeah, focus on forgiveness. Right. So that's why I said if you focus on forgiveness and hold each other, hold them, caress them, and you know, your love is going to vibrate through and they're going to feel it. They're going to feel it. You or them to get our resonance. But yeah, Queen of Cups, yeah. Challenges and obstacles is causing delays. Yeah, because they're a mental case right now. The way, I don't mean that in a derogative way, but mentally they're in chaos and mayhem in their head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in this energy of fuck you, fuck your feelings, pay me. <laughs> Bad bitch every day like Christmas. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Attitude of fuck you, pay me. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> let me stop. You got me. Fuck. I'm gonna let, let me stop. Anyway. <laughs> then I say when you guys start seeing everything in twos, when the cards coming out in twos, same card, different debt. Yeah. Then I say two, 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 new beginning. Don't play with me. I see now. I I see the signs and how everything fall out, even with the mouse. That right, remember the mouse. <laughs> I see the signs. That's what I'm saying. I'm an intuitive reader, so you know this. This is just spirit confirming. Yeah, they choose you. You're the one. So stop doubting that. Just because you guys are in stagnant communication, on and off communication, no communication, they're choosing you regardless, and they're coming towards you. They're coming to get their baby, and that's just that on that. Period. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the who off the top. This cycle is closing out. Expect new love, money, and opportunities coming in. And they are. Listen, I don't know about y'all. My retrograde is amazing. We are in Libra, and um, I'm a Libra sun. That is, I got six Libra uh, placements, baby. I'm a true Libra to the heart. Yeah, so, yeah, so this retrograde for me is amazing. But if you guys are a Libra, air signs um, in general, too, specifically Libras, this you guys should be reaping rewards and benefits at this time unless you guys are coming out of toxic uh unstable um connections and things like that but for the most of you guys things are turning around and it's all in your favor so this is good this is not a libra reading this is a collective read so libra gang gang y'all be i see y'all up in here i feel y'all energy <laughs> right i can feel your energy even though this is pre-recorded i feel it <laughs> but anyways yeah so this is what's going on behind the scenes for you guys just to get you guys some clarity of what's going on in your world yeah so i love you guys and i hope it resonated with you make sure to sign off in a comment field below and let auntie nay know what's been going on with you don't and all the other signs and everything i'm going to be doing the fire elements next Leo Aries Sagittarius. Um, probably get to them um either tomorrow evening or definitely by the weekend. I just I if y'all you know a lot of you guys follow me on my personal page, and um yeah it's I, I be so busy. You know I try to give y'all little snippets and stuff of what's going on with me behind the scenes, but y'all y'all like and Auntie stay doing a party, and do and do Auntie is in her bag, honey. Listen. <laughs> Auntie Nay is in her bag and you know, but just a good thing. That's part of my spiritual abundance, you know, um for being um a good individual, you know, and following um spirit spirit and God's lead and trusting them, you know what I'm saying? I'm also reaping my rewards. So I could say it, um, you know, honestly, like it's real. I'm living it, it's real. So you guys, that's why I said you guys don't seek revenge. Don't be in that ugly girl energy. All that at, 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 back and forth and doing all this goofy. No. Stay in your pretty girl, pretty boy vibes. You know what I'm saying? And everything beautiful will just attract towards you. Love, money, abundance, stability. You will have all of that. I promise you. I will never tell you guys anything wrong. Okay? That's why I say keep your energy high, your vibrational high, and keep it pure. And just be genuine, you know what I'm saying? Love on people who love on you, you know? We all about reciprocated energy, you know what I'm saying? And um, somebody's, you know, giving you good energy, give it back. You know, it's no need to be in that, you know, all that rah-rah and ah-ah and ooh-ah and child boo bye. We, mm -mm, we doing that. We doing that. Don't let nobody take you off your thrones, my kings and queens, Okay. 
I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It actually went a while, over an hour. I did not expect this, but these are the messages the Spirit wanted me to uh, share with you guys. So I'll get you guys on the next one. I love you. Bye.